Good morning everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog and I hope you're enjoying the weekend so far. So today is actually a really really exciting morning because I am attending a super drug skincare event on Line. So it's like a virtual skincare event, uh, which is something I've never actually done before. But uh, the Superdrug PR team have actually sent over some um, like light brunch, like kind of like healthy snacks to kind of um, just like snack on throughout the event. And also they sent a big box of skincare goodies, which I'll show you in a minute. And basically this virtual event is launching their skin school campaign slash service um where it's just kind of like allowing us consumers to understand a lot more about ingredients a lot more about skin concerns and um just sort of the different products they offer in their sort of stores and also online and as many of you know that i actually um was part of a super drug campaign last year which involved a photo shoot in london and um yeah it's been rolled out kind of nationally which is just absolutely crazy it was to sell Celebrate real skin using untouched, unfiltered, unlike photoshopped photos of our real skin, which just honestly it pinched me moment still. And it was in September. Yeah, crazy, crazy um, to kind of you know be a part of that and um yeah just really sort of like proud moment but really really excited to get um sort of the product organized this morning and get myself ready for the virtual event which is happening in about 25 minutes so i best get my laptop open but i'll just show you what i got first of all and so they sent like a little vegan brunch menu so here we have got um raspberry granola pot where you can add your own milk or your own yogurt or anything like that so i'll add soy milk to that then we've got the berry bliss balls um which is oats raspberries coconut maple syrup and chai seeds and then we've got a berry kombucha health shot which oh love kombucha and then we've also got some dried fruit which is dried mangoes um so it comes in this little box here and of course the super drug skin school service which is very exciting so yeah we've got the granola pot here the i'm guessing these will be the um chia seed balls and then we've got the kombucha shot and also the dried mango pieces there which i'll sort of like arrange all nicely and just make it a lot easier for me to uh to access once on the event but then also which is really really exciting is this incredible package from super drug uh, so of course we've got the skin school campaign and it just tells you a little bit about it there and also the virtual event that's happening at 10 a.m today uh, we've got some really cool looking pens from oh recycled material that's so amazing great and then we've also got like a little textbook here so um yeah it's just kind of like a new service a really really great service just to inform consumers and you know customers all about skincare ingredients skincare products on offer um different concerns to target all of that stuff and a great great set of recommendations by beauty and skincare experts um and i think I am also in this pamphlet as well. So yeah, Ultimate Superdrug Skincare Cheat Seat, which I think, oh my God, that's amazing. So we've got all of the Superdrug, well, you know, some of the Superdrug own brands here and own products. And then we've got some of their sort of like branded selection here. Of course, this isn't like, you know, an exhaustive list or anything like that, because we've got so much in store and also online. But yeah, this is just kind of gives you a little idea. And then, And then look, hello, who is that? That is me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is the um, real skin campaign that I was talking to you about. It is called the Skin Septance um, Campaign, launching their in-store skin consul consultation service, um, which is incredibly, incredibly exciting. So yeah, um, super, super proud and amazing, amazing, empowering creators join me with that and then we've got some stickers here which is always nice and oh my god we've got one of these like um school workbooks like obviously it's blank but just takes you back to high school and also primary school with these um you know workbooks 
But then the most exciting part is, look at all these skincare goodies. Oh my God, so exciting. Uh, so here we've got the uh, vitamin, e, vitamin E hot cloth cleanser, which is an absolute staple, 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 staple. So, so good. Then we've also got the vitamin E sugar and oil body scrub. Oh yes, I'll have a little bit of that tonight, thank you. And um, we've got the hyaluronic acid body gel, which, oh, amazing amazing and then the salicylic acid body gel as well which two percent salicylic acid oh that's crazy oh wow definitely gonna give that a try tonight as well and then we've got the infamous hard Labo tokyo ultimate super hydrator there um so i have used the one with retinol before and simon has as well this is so so good but yeah absolutely amazing um to get a top up of their original and then we've got the glycolic acid five percent toner we've got a hydrating eye cream a intense nourishing day cream there and then we have got uh oh a moisturizing day cream but this is with spf 30 we have got an spf 30 booster in there and a 0.3% retinol. Hello, you can see me in the reflection. <laughs> um, and then we've also got a resveratrol a booster as well, which is a fantastic antioxidant. Ah, so yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna just like kind of like put all these out on the island here with my laptop and with my sort of like my brunch as well. I do have a cinnamon bake bake at home cinnamon swirl in there. Uh, just to, you know, add a little bit of summit summit to this event <laughs> um but then we've also got a parcel from peace out which isn't to do with the super drug event or anything like this but they did send it yesterday and it is in launch of their new retinol face stick which oh it looks so so good so it apparently it's got a three percent retinol blend and it's kind of used in conjunction with the retinol eye stick as well which is a best seller from peace out skincare um but yeah these have just launched um in the uk so i'll link them in the description box down below as well so yeah thank you peace out and thank you super drug okay then so i am I'm literally about to sign on to this event i've got all the products displayed there and then i've just laid out sort of like my brunchy bits and also just the um leaflet book there but yeah i um my cinnamon roll is looking a little bit um sad but that's fine it smells absolutely incredible in this kitchen um and then yeah i just made myself a coffee and also an orange juice as well because hydration is key um and then i just need to put some soy milk in there but yeah really really excited for this event and i'll do a little time lapse for you
if that's all right um so dr wilma and alicia what if you had to pick i'm going to be that type of person if you had to pick one product from superdrug for the rest of your life which would it be and why wow. <laughs> well you can, can do that yeah i'm feeling generous <laughs> say I've, I've been using the um, tranexamic acid booster for I'd probably say I'm on like my third bottle now and um, it's just it's just been a game changer for my post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and erythema and um, so yeah it's been and it's so affordable as well and I think that tranexamic acid is it's kind of like one of those hyperpigmentation unsung heroes and um, that definitely I think Superdrug have captured that perfectly and, and the formulation is is and consistency is so so good, good as well so yeah i think that would be my my top tier one so i just wrapped up the super drug skin school hub campaign virtual event and um, which was actually really really lovely it was nice to sort of just see um some familiar faces and yeah just have a little like sort of demonstration and talk through some of the amazing products that super drug have on offer and um, so yeah i'll definitely leave all of the details linked down in the description box down below but this isn't an ad or anything like that and um, it was just you know that PR thing um but yes so the rest of the day is actually oh my god it's 11 11 make a wish and so for the rest of the day um I'm just going to be filming skincare videos that I need to sort of like film and send out to some brands um and then schedule to upload so yeah I've got a very busy and quite hectic day today so it is a busy busy and hectic day today but getting stuff done and ticked off the job list which is always always very sort of like you know satisfying isn't it and I had a look at sort of like everyone's like you know cameras on and stuff like that and it just seemed like I was the only one eating um so I was just like scoffing my face as per usual during that um virtual event but you know it, it was tasty delicious food and I couldn't resist myself but my camera is flashing so I do need to go and charge this battery but i do have the spf 30 booster on by the super super drug me plus range and it's just giving me such a lovely glow absolutely perfect for these cloudy rainy um stays when you're staying indoors so yeah really perfect and i used like a whole pipette kind of thing and um, which is giving just such a really nice even coverage good morning everyone it's been a few days since i last spoken to you um but it is a weekend finally and i'm with simon in the car and um, we are actually just on our way to hopefully try on some suits for our wedding i mean our wedding is less than three months away now so we are leaving it last minute dot com um 
which um, is typical us really to be honest with you there's so much to sort out um, in terms of like stationery and I still need to actually send out the evening invites but like, I just need to design them and, and order them <laughs> so yeah there's still a lot to do um, but we are yes we are actually going to try on some suits now uh, which is super super exciting and hopefully this um, is like it turns out better than our attempt last time um, a couple of weeks ago when we just there was literally no point even traveling far to go to our suit appointment because they just weren't they weren't um, reliable uh, so yes we are on the way to the suit shop now and um, we're gonna have like a little mooch around the shops i think as well because it's in kind of like an outdoor shopping complex and um, which i've actually not been to it's, it's local to us but i've not actually been to it since i was a very very young um kid <laughs> uh, with me and my family used to go all the time to the shopping centre so yeah it'll be a bit of a um you know going back to the going back to is it memory lane going back to memory lane yeah going back to memory lane um and then we're just nipping to asda because it is next door to where we have to be uh, so we're just going to pick up some like a few little bits we might have like a little picky dinner tonight which is exciting and uh, watch a movie but also i'm going to be making some mini egg chocolate rice crispy like bars um uh, yes again a recipe from jane's patisserie i have um i do follow her on instagram actually and it's definitely worth a follow on instagram because she just posts so many amazing treats and cakes and bakes all the time um yeah so i'm going to make some of them today which i will obviously show you and bring you along but other than that this week has actually been quite busy i've been in the office two days um this week and i've had quite a lot of brand videos to do and to create um and just editing them editing brand videos takes a lot longer as well because they've got like specific requirements and stuff so um yeah it has been a bit of a busy week but i'm looking forward to this weekend and i'm just chilling out really and just kind of yeah um just getting house bits done as well because last weekend i was doing overtime so i wasn't even picking up the camera or anything because i mean it was literally just so boring i was just working all the time so um yeah it's uh, it's nice to have the weekend off and the weather is honestly so so stunning um, definitely spring is around the corner that's for sure and so we are back from our suit appointment and also a food shop. Um, so yeah, I'll do a food haul in a minute, but it was such a successful suit appointment. We have finally got our suit sorted. We are hiring them. Um, it, just, it just made so much more sense. And also we sorted out the greensman suits as well. So yeah, feeling very, um, very good and very productive in terms of the wedding um, and bits to do with the wedding of course and like i said before i need to just organize and design well basically order the wedding invites for the evening so i'll probably do that later on today as well because i do have my laptop open and i just need to finalize a video for a brand before i send it off so yeah so we have done a food shop and we actually went to asda and um, just because it was next door to where we were and um spent quite a bit of money on not really a lot of stuff it's we don't really go to asda really that often so it's kind of like oh that looks nice that looks nice and then of course it all adds up because it's not kind of like what you'd usually buy in your usual food shop um but yeah i'll talk you through it now so i picked up this caesar salad kit i just absolutely love these kits and um, just for like quick and easy lunches so they have like the iceberg lettuce they come with croutons a caesar salad dressing and also parmesan cheese um, and then this is also just another quick and easy lunch i probably have this uh, like when i'm in the office or something um this prawn pasta salad yummy 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 i bet it's so oh it's actually quite healthy actually um and then just picked up some shredded iceberg lettuce and some some spring onions because obviously you can't not have those in your fridge just to have like you know just to add to your salad um oh of course some baby plum tomatoes as well and then just got some pineapples and these gigantic strawberries which are oh, i absolutely love giant strawberries so i really hope they are very nice and fresh and not really hard um yeah hope they're done nice and juicy but really really looking forward to opening them we got some bagels because me and simon do love bagels so so much uh, and just some white bloomer bread some toilet roll there and then of course 
of course we can't do a food shop without purchasing pepsi max cherry because it is a staple in this house we just needed some more yorkshire tea um i know a lot of you are sort of not don't live in the uk but yorkshire tea is the best tea bags ever 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 yes you've heard it here <laughs> um but we have decaf just because we don't really drink caffeine like in my coffee um i don't have i have decaf coffee so yeah tastes the same but without the caffeine which is always always a bonus um and then saw these mcvitties b m biscuits which just took me back to my childhood i used to walk to my granddad's house after primary school every day and he always used to have like his like biscuit tins um, and these were always in them so yeah i picked those up just to kind of go down memory lane a little bit <laughs> um and it's actually my granddad's birthday on a Monday, so I'm going to hopefully go and see him tomorrow. We also got some baking potatoes because I do want to make a vegan cottage pie this week at some point. So, yeah, always good to have that in for mash. Um, then we also have decided we're going to have a curry night. I think this is like a weekly thing that we do is we always have this Lloyd Grossman curry sauce with some naan bread and some rice as well so i fix up some egg fried rice and also some vegetable pilau rice we do have a lot of rice in but i just thought oh i'll give those a try and then of course we picked up some pot noodles always good to have a, like a little snack in some passata and we are actually having like a picky dinner tonight but we are also having nachos so we picked up some tortilla chips some salsa some guacamole and some sour cream and chive um and we're gonna have some hummus and just some like you know like little picky bits as well might even put a garlic bread on not too sure <laughs> um but yeah as well as for the picky bits we've got some parmesan and garlic mini twists oh yeah so excited about those um and then this right let me tell you about something this is so so good oh my god if you are vegan or vegetarian and you kind of miss that like chicken tikka kind of thing this is honestly it is unbelievable so definitely recommend purchasing that and um, you can actually get it in most supermarkets in the uk now and um it's usually on offer but it's about two pound fifty to three pound and then picked up some oh minstrels of course amazing love minstrels um and then we also got these vegan deep dish cheese burger pizzas we've had these before actually and they're really really nice they've got kind of like chopped gherkin in there um a bit of salsa a bit of onion and obviously the vegan mince and the cheese and then i also picked up some of these salt and vinegar flavor fish strips um i just love fish and sort of like kind of like that chip shop style kind of like fish and chips and mushy peas um yeah i'm a big big fan of that so anything salt and vinegar and fish i am all for it and then i also picked up some innocent smoothies i think these are just great just to have on the go as well in the office just to kind of you know have a little bit of something different instead of cordial and also coffees all the time picked up some cheese for the nachos and then also some plant-based two lemon cheesecakes i think we'll have these tonight actually these look really really nice but yeah they're kind of like um all vegan and stuff and they look like that also picked up something that we haven't seen before is these corn crunchy fillet burgers like the chicken burgers which look really nice so we're going to have burgers for dinner one night um i picked up some salmon love love salmon so much so yeah always good to have that in and then for a meal this week we're also going to have some like fake chicken wraps with salad and stuff like that um so yeah we picked up some wraps baby leaf salad and these plant-based southern fried chicken style goujons and then like i said in the car I am going to be making white chocolate mini egg, well, mini egg rice crispy bars with like topped with like a layer of white chocolate. So yeah, I picked up the Cadbury's white chocolate bars, big bags of mini eggs, some salted butter, some mini marshmallows, and also some rice crispy there. So yeah, that is our kind of like, not a very big food shop. I'm gonna have to be honest with you, not a big one at all, but we do have stuff in the freezer and in the fridge still. So um, yeah, we should be all right for you know for the rest of the week anyway but i'm just going to crack on with um just finalizing the video and then i'm going to make the rice crispy chocolate mini egg bars and i think maybe simon might make us a cup of tea Fine. yeah no yeah no yeah also that i forgot to mention was 
we actually, um, there was a pro cook store, like a pro cook outlet, um, in the, sort of the shopping centre that we got, we went to, and I bought a, what is it? Oh no, that's a pamphlet. <laughs> I bought a square cake tin with a loose bottom, because been needing this, especially when I made brownies um, a few weeks ago, I just needed like a square cake tin, but... I think this is going to be absolutely perfect for the rice cake, crispy bars, um, and yeah, it was a uh, really good quality in that. And we love pro cook. We're actually contemplating about getting some like new um, crockery and sort of like a dinner set and stuff, but um, that will be in the near future because it was a bit expensive. But Simon has lovingly made a cream cheese vegan cream cheese bagel with a lovely cup of tea. <laughs> and who do we have here? Hey! Hey! I know you're sniffing around the food all the time, aren't you? Sure. Ellie has had a haircut. She got cut um, a couple of days ago. Didn't you? Why are you walking away from me? Because I've got food. You've had a haircut, haven't you? Yes, you have. So I love it when they like the the groomers like they must spray some like kind of perfume on them or something. That's kind of only available for dog groomers because we can never seem to find it but it smells so beautiful don't you yes you do yes you do yes you do yes you do and you oh and you okay then so we are about to make the mini egg rice crispy bars topped with white chocolate and even more mini eggs and um, so i do have my mini marshmallows here in the pan, which I'm just gonna add 50 grams of butter and sort of melt down really carefully and slowly, um, yeah, until it's all melted. And then what I'm currently doing right now is that I've just weighed out my Rice crispy cereal, um, so that's all good to go as well. And I'm just cutting up the white chocolate which smells absolutely incredible. And then I've got these two bags, two huge bags of mini eggs, which I'm gonna sort of like crush and um, and like chop up, but then also keep some whole as well, just to add on to the top. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do that now and make sure that I've prepped everything to then sort of like when I'm melting and like I need to be stirring. And then once I've done that, I need to actually melt the chocolate. So it's kind of like a very quick, sort of um, thing to do before you actually have to put it in the fridge for two hours, but um, it's all hands on. <laughs> and these are Jane's finished results. So I'm hoping that they are gonna look pretty much exactly the same as that. I will leave this recipe linked in the description box down below. Um, of course, I mean, I absolutely love Jane. <laughs> Who would have thought it? Um, but yes, super, super easy to make, really cheap as well. I mean, you can like get Ordinary, like just own branded white chocolate. You can get own branded mini eggs. Stock up on these because obviously they're only available around Easter time. Um, but yeah, really, really cheap, and I'm very, very excited to have some of these later on this evening.
Okay, so I've just popped the Rice Krispie mini egg mixture into the baking tin. It was so getting so sticky. Um, but my top tip actually for this is when I've ever made Rice Krispie treats before, I've always like wet my hands just with water, or you could do it with butter actually, but with water just so it prevents um, all the Rice Krispie marshmallow stuff sticking to your hands and you can just really squash it in. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now and then I'm gonna melt the white chocolate and crush some more of those up. Just a bit of water and you can press it in and voila. Obviously with clean hands. <laughs> And so this is the finished product. Of course, it just needs to set for a couple of hours in the fridge, but how incredible does this look? Oh my God. So we've got my Rice Krispie with, infused with crushed mini eggs with a white chocolate topping, then extra crushed mini eggs on top. Oh my God. Mm. I'm actually salivating right now. How good does it look? Red. No, not red. I can't have red wine. Come on. Oof, bright. I can do the spaceship. So we have, well, um, what was I about to say? I can't remember now. <laughs> um, yes, so actually I have ordered the wedding evening invitations it was just really quick and easy just went for something quite plain quite simple but our kind of like color theme as well um, and now we are going to have some picky bits that are nachos in the oven just kind of you know like get the cheese melting and also what's that one let's see Vouvray. Um, yeah, so we're going to get the cheese melted and it all crispy and then have nachos and just piggy bits. And then wrap the other one actually. Because <laughs> this one goes more with like seafood, fish, salads and that goes with like spicy Thai dishes. Mm. Eat pecan notes and tropical. Okay, what's that one called? This is a Raz. Biazaz, Biazaz, Biazza, Biazaz. <laughs> Your pronunciation is as bad as mine. It's a uh, Albarino. Great. Mine, 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 mine. Chink, chink. Cheers. Bloody hell, I nearly broke the glass. Oh, it's nice, actually. Yes. Mm. It's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so we've got some falafels. These are the Moroccan spice falafel with red pepper and apricot. I mean, this picky bit dinner is a bit of a shambles, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we've got the Parmesan twists, the corn cocktail sausages, and of course, we've got the nachos. Um, yeah, and that is literally it. Um, of course, we've got the Rice Krispie things for dessert, which I will show you uh, later on. But now it is time to choose a film on Netflix. But first, actually, I know, I know, why is that there? I'll just move it there. But, me and Simon and also Ellie have this thing where uh, every every night around seven, half seven, she has a dentist stick. 
and she knows exactly when it is and what time it is and she'll pester us for ages but we have a little theme song for her and uh, she gets very excited don't you? starts with is it? is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> Tricks or treats, 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 it's a tricks, it is a tricks for treats. Come on, get you a dentist stick. Oh, they will do nicely. Oh, last one. Hey, yeah, and so then she has to go and do. Tricks for treats, yes. Spin, no, come here. Spin, no, <laughs> spin, spin, sit, pour, touch, pour, no, pour, touch, high five. Oh, <laughs> you are erratic today. High five, good girl. <laughs> And then she goes in the front room. But yeah, we have done that for such a long time, for quite a few, number of years now. Um, and it just goes tricks for treats, tricks for treats, tricks, tricks for treats. Uh, it's, there. it's a little family tradition. So we have been watching this as well. It is so good. So, so good. Oh, we got oh only three more episodes left. It is really, really good. And we actually need to catch up on Snowpiercer. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Uh, I've got a couple. Yeah, I've got two. Hmm. And then we did start watching this. All, all of us are dead. But I mean, we only got into one, yeah. one episode. What else have we been watching? Ah, oh yeah, Ozark. We are on season three now, and I love it. What's that season? Season four, part two, coming 29th of April. What? Um, but yeah, on our list is Vikings Valhalla. That looks really good. And I think we're gonna watch this this evening, which has got um, Leighton, Leighton Meester from Gossip Girl. There she comes. Was that nice? Was that nice? Yeah. Just inspecting the floor, seeing if there's any remnants of a dentist stick she can eat. <laughs> hey! Are you coming up or are you getting a drink of water? A little scrounger. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're going to watch The Weekend Away tonight because we just had a quick look and there's not really that much to watch on Netflix at the minute. Um, but yeah, you can sort of get like really good like sort of stints on Netflix and then some time, like some months are just a bit like, ooh. Um, but yeah, The Weekend Away looks really, really good. So, and um, I'm just kind of like trying to not picture her as uh, Blair in Gossip Girl uh, because obviously that's what we all know her from. What? You always do like a little, at the end of it, you? No, I don't. You do. No, I don't. You do. No, I don't. You do. You like that girl. <laughs> it is mini egg time. It, I mean, it looks good though, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Mm hmm. Doesn't it? Yeah. Actually, rock solid. <laughs> gonna be so hard. There you are. Probably gonna break the jaw into it. Nope.
I think it would be better room temperature in the morning. Very, very nice though. I mean, I baked this and we just went for our suit fitting today. So I really do need to, you know, just keep an eye on my weight at the minute. But when you see Jane Patisserie's Instagram, you'll know why I can't resist. Good morning, everyone. So uh, it is bright and early on a Sunday morning and um, I'm just walking early, actually. Where is she? There she is, sort of. <laughs> um, so yeah, we just, uh, well, basically, I'm just uh, got up early. Well, she actually got us up early, fortunately. Like, probably woke us up every every three hours last night. Uh, just wanted attention. So yeah, that is literally a standard night in our household. But um, yeah, just wanted to catch up on last night because I know I didn't sort of like, sort of speak to you after the Rice Krispie cake things um but basically the film was mm, I'm not too sure about the film actually i would i'd give it a go but i'd be quite open-minded i mean the ending was a bit naff but um definitely a plot twist in there but the acting was just a bit like and the storyline it was just kind of like jumping everywhere uh, there was no sort of like consistency with it but we know we know sort of like we know that we've watched it now and and we can give our opinion on it. Come on, Ellie. But yeah, so I'm just walking Ellie now, and we've actually, it's actually this place near us, which is kind of just like an open field area with like a tarmac road on it. Um, it's actually next to the cemetery, but um, it's one of those things where we've taken, we've been taking Ellie on this walk for like, probably like a year and a half now. Sorry if you cannot see me at all. Um, yeah, we've been taking her on this walk for about a year and a half now, but more dog walkers have discovered it, which is really nice, but it's kind of like, oh, you know, when you kind of just like have your own like hidden little gem, especially for a dog walk, and um, and now it's kind of like people are on the bandwagon, so uh, yeah. But I mean, I'm saying, I'm saying that it's not my land, is it? <laughs> but the weather is absolutely glorious and i am so excited for spring like it is a frosty morning but it's probably all melted now actually yeah, yeah it has um but uh, i'm so ready for spring though and just kind of like the early mornings the later nights and just all the flowers to bloom such a lovely time of the year i'm sort of really more kind of like a, a transitional seasonal person so i'm kind of like i love autumn and winter but then i also love from winter to spring and summer I just I just don't know it gets too hot for me <laughs> come on my love yeah good girl uh, so yeah sorry if the sun is absolutely blinding me what do you think about this uh, flat cap by the way I found it when we were decluttering the house a couple of weeks ago and I don't know I feel like it might go well with the barber coat but oh yeah also with the barber coat the, um, it's still fluffy, but I was reading online, and I actually tried it this morning, that you can hoover the fluff off the coat, but it didn't work. So, um, but also they said, just constantly wear it, and then it, it's just because the wax is new on the coat, so I'm probably just thinking that's what it is, and then over time, the fluff will come off the coat. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy that we kind of like made a way with um, the wedding again. I'll actually, would I show you? No, no, I won't show you the evening invites just yet. Um, because I mean, I've not even sent them out. But um, I'm, yeah, I'm really happy that we made headway with our suits and got them all sorted in the groomsmen. Literally everything is sorted apart from, we just need to buy their shoes and also their cufflinks. Um, oh no, maybe the cufflinks are included, I'm not too sure. But yeah, even like the shirt, the pocket square, the ties, everything is included. So really, really happy with that. And for hours, we just need to get our shirt because the style of shirt that we want, they didn't really have in. Um, and we just need to sort our shoes out and whatnot. So really, really happy with the headway we're making with the wedding and just this really nice weather in spring is on its way. It's really making me happy and excited for the wedding because I've kind of like lost excitement and I think I spoke about this in um, a, a vlog before, but yeah, we really did sort of lose the excitement of 
the wedding because obviously it got postponed so many times and we were just like oh if it happens it happens but i think now because we're sort of sh just short of three months until the wedding it's like ooh, <laughs> best get our asses into gear now so yeah really really excited and chuffed and next weekend i think what i want to do is um sort of like plan get a, get like a really nice aged oak planter for the front of the house and plant those seeds um you know like the wildflower seeds that i got in i got a couple weeks ago or three weeks ago now um come on ellie <laughs> um yeah so i, I want to sort of like kind of like start getting the house ready for spring and um, just buying a few little bits and kind of just making it a bit bright and yeah and just springy so looking forward to doing that next week and then of course i'll bring you along with me for that